Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chico's Garage. And in today's video, I'm just gonna be giving you guys some basic tips on how to take good pictures of your car slash truck. Uh, yeah. So uh, first tip I would give is, well, my personal favorite time is to take photos around sunset because it makes the lighting super easy because sometimes during the day, if it's super sunny, uh, your photos can get super overexposed. So I personally like shooting uh, at it during sunset or if it's a overcast day, it also makes it easier to shoot quite a bit. So uh, first tip I would give anyone trying to take car photography or photography in general is to invest in a DSLR because you can some of these tips you'll be able to apply to basic phone photography but the main issue with phone photography is the qual the camera quality and lens quality is going to be nowhere near as good as it would be on a DSLR. I just have a basic Canon T6i, nothing special. And if you do have a DSLR, I'd also recommend getting a 50 millimeter lens that goes down to I think 1.8 f-stop, which is like the aperture, which is, it's upgrading from the factory 1855 lens was definitely the best upgrade I've done so far. So first basic tip I would give to basically anyone taking pictures of their cars is a lot of people, especially when you're taking cars from this angle, they center their car in the middle like that. I'll overlay some pictures like after this, like demonstrating like to the middle. And then the best thing I would recommend doing is doing more like in the corner. See how the, you leave some room to the front of the vehicle and it really gives some more depth and perspective to the background of where you're shooting. Uh, I, personally, at this angle, I don't like shooting straight on. If you're going more from the front, like this, then yeah, getting, getting down and getting straight on is definitely a, a good angle. Or if you're going straight from the back, going on and straight uh, and straight ahead is looks good. Or from the, well, even from the side, I definitely prefer going more like leaving a little bit of room see how you feel leave a little bit of room in the front it looks better i'll overlay some photos now than if you do it straight on so as you can tell the vehicle in the center of the photograph or towards the center of the photograph it just looks awkwardly placed as demonstrated by this photo you want to use the rule of thirds so what that means is you basically want to keep the vehicle or center of focus in one corner of the frame so usually I find it works best is if you leave the open space towards the front of the vehicle so in this photo that happens to be on the left side but that's just because the vehicle is facing towards the left and as you can see by doing that you really get more depth of the landscape of where you're taking the photograph so next i'm just going to be talking about some of my uh favorite camera settings that i use so i'm no by no means am i a uh, pro photographer i'm still very amateur at this my favorite mode is personally uh, av mode which is aperture priority so what that does is it really just blurs out the background more when you have it focused on the car and personally that's my favorite look i'll overlay a couple photos now of with the aperture at 1.8 and with it at like 5.6 or 8.0 which is like more of a less the background would be more in focus than it would be on 1.8 so as you can see by this photo, when you have your f-stop at about, I think this photo was shot in at f-stop of 8, you can really tell how the full picture is in focus. As It still looks, it's still a good photo, but you can tell like the background is in focus as well as the Land Rover. So as you can see in this photo with the f-stop down to 1.8 you can the vehicle really pops and it's a much crisper photo as you can tell the background is slightly more blurred which really helps make the vehicle stand out and really pop with a nice crisp photo okay so one last thing i want to talk about is for photo editing so i know a lot of people like to when they do their photos they edit the crap out of them they put whole bunch of saturation they crank the sharpening and they crank the shadows and I know people think that looks good but I it really doesn't like my best suggestion for photo editing is to edit as little as possible like you really like you can I it's definitely good like at photo editing is good to turn up the saturations or turn up the shadows or to you turn up sharpening is a good tool you just don't want to overdo it this goes for any uh, photo editing tool is you just don't want to overdo it 
because when people overdo it, you like you have a good shot, you have good lighting, everything is good, and then you photo, you edit it too much, you put in way too much saturation, you crank the shadows way too much, you crank the sharpening way too much, and then it becomes blurry and pixelated. So that's the only big thing that I see a lot of people doing is they just put way too much photo. No, I'm take again i am no expert at photo taking this is just from my experience and what i've found in my personal opinion so first i just want to talk about what app i use i actually do all my photoshop on adobe lightroom which is a mobile app for the iphone and it is free it's by far the best photoshop app i've used i've played around with quite a few let me know if you find one that you like better but it is free and it's got a lot of good features that i like quite a bit first photo editing tip i would give is you always want to shoot dark because it's easier to make a darker photo light than it is to make a lighter photo dark so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to crop out that little bit on the right hand side to really make sure you got that thirds rule going and just make sure photo looks a little bit more put together. And then I'm gonna to go to the lighting section and I'm gonna turn up the exposure. You don't wanna play with the exposure too much because that can really hurt it. And you wanna then turn up the shadows a bit. Again, you don't turn up the shadows too bit because if you turn it up too much, it looks really grainy. And then notice how if it gets a little too bright, you can turn down the highlights. I like to, I play with this a little bit, turn up the highlights, turn down the highlights and see what you like most. And then next thing I'm gonna do is go to the contrast and saturation. So when you play with the saturation, obviously you don't wanna turn it up too much because everything just looks really blue. You wanna keep it just kinda of right in the middle and again, play with it and see what you like. But again, less is more in this case. And then another couple features I really like in the Adobe Lightroom is the clarity and the dehaze and sharpening. Cause if you turn those all up a little bit, it really cleans up the photo quite a bit. And you can play with the noise reduction too. And I find that helps quite a bit when editing photos. And one last thing that I would recommend, I know this sounds silly, but I definitely see a lot of pictures like this on Instagram, is clean your car. Do not take pictures of dirty cars. Like, I know some people think it looks cool because it looks rugged. Maybe like if you, like you're uh, a bit of an off-roader and you got some mud on it, yeah, that looks finest. But especially for cars, for God's sakes, clean your car. Do not take pictures of a dirty car. It just looks terrible. Like, I don't know why people do it. You should not take pictures of dirty cars. Never take pictures of dirty cars. It's just bad. Oh yeah, and one last thing that I wanted to mention is when you're uploading your photos to Instagram, always take photos in landscape mode. Do not take them in portrait mode. And if you take a nice landscape photo and you upload it to Instagram, make sure you hit the little crop button. I'll put in a thing here. So when you select your landscape photo, you want to make sure you hit that little button in the corner with the little square brackets in either corner and make sure it's zoomed out all the way just like that so it's not zoomed in and it's cropped all funny and it just ruins your good landscape photo and just shameless instagram plug follow me nenzas disco too well i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of chico's garage hopefully i taught you a thing or two about photo taking of vehicles or you learned absolutely nothing and you know way more than i do but this is just for your average joe that's into cars and doesn't know a whole lot about photo taking see you guys next time